Iran's execution of three men involved with the anti-government protest movement there is sparking more global condemnation. For more on Iran's frequent use of executions, we've reached Raha Bahraini. She's Amnesty International's researcher on Iran, and she's also a human rights lawyer, and she joins us now. So thank you for making some time for us here today. Thank you for having me. I want to start by getting your reaction, your response to the execution of three political protesters yesterday. Has the reaction from the international community, uh, in your view, been enough so far? Like uh, thousands of people in Iran and many human rights defenders around the world, Amnesty International is horrified and enraged by the sudden execution of these three protesters in, is in Isfahan. The shocking speed at which the Iranian authorities sent these men to their deaths illustrates once again their absolute disregard for the right to life and for fair trial rights. These men were sentenced to death just less than two months after their arrest last November, and the Supreme Court uh, upheld their sentences in a summary manner, and their executions were carried out just weeks after the Supreme Court rubber stamped their unjust convictions and death sentences. We welcome the outpouring of anger from the international community and the strong statements that many governments have issued. However, the reality that this is not enough to stop Iran's killing machine. People are being unlawfully killed in Iran at a horrific rate under the guise of judicial executions and far more is needed from the international community. What more would you like to see done by the international community? Are there certain states, statements you're looking for? Are there actions in particular that you're looking for? What would you like to see? So as we speak, there are many, many other protesters who are at risk of being executed in connection with their involvement in the protest. It is essential that states do not limit their interventions to quiet diplomacy. In advance of scheduled executions, they must publicly call on the Iranian authorities to halt the executions. They must carry out the marches and also ensure that they use every avenue through their embassies in the country to put pressure on the authorities. At the moment, the Iranian authorities are testing the tolerance of the international community in order to see if they may carry out more executions. It is therefore essential that these arbitrary executions that were carried out on uh, Friday are condemned in the strongest sense. It's also important for the international community to recognize that these ex executions are arbitrary and designed by the international community to send a message to the people of Iran that they will crush dissent at any cost and they will stop at nothing. In other words, the Iranian authorities are using the death penalty as a tool of repression, and this must be specifically recognized by governments around the world. I must also note that it's not enough to just issue statements of condemnations, though they are very important. We also urge states to identify Iranian officials, including prosecutors, and judges who are involved in these serious human rights violations, including torture, enforced disappearance, extrajudicial executions, and other unlawful killings, and to find pathways for justice and accountability at the international level, because within Iran, victims and their families have no prospect of justice. What about the reaction that we've seen so far from inside Iran? I'm wondering if you think that these executions might have a similar impact uh, to what we saw many months ago now with the death of Masa Amini. Do you think that we might see a similar sort of response from within the country? The growing opposition to the death penalty in Iran is unprecedented. We've had many people who've taken to the streets in front of the prison in advance of the executions, joining the families in solidarity and calling on the Iranian authorities to stop the executions. Of course, despite all this domestic outcry, the Iranian authorities went ahead with these cruel executions. In the aftermath of the executions, uh, Iranian um, social media users have uh, tweeted and posted many outrage posts in support of the victims and their uh, families. The fact of the matter is that the Iranian authorities have not uh, paid any attention to this growing outrage within Iran over the way the authorities kill, torture, maim, and assault people with absolute impunity. That is why many people inside the country also look forward to the international community, expecting them to use all their 
um, all the means available to put pressure on the Iranian authorities. We welcome that the international community set up a fact-finding mission, hearing the cries of victims and human rights defenders in Iran for justice. It's now important to also find pathways for accountability and justice, including through the exercise of universal jurisdiction. This is something that Amnesty is now urging all governments um, to do, to identify officials who are responsible for these crimes under international law and to uh, open criminal investigations uh, against them and uh, consider issuing arrest warrants. Raha, I have about 45 so, seconds left here. You were mentioning there that it, up until this point, it would seem that the authorities within inside the country, that they've sort of been ignoring some of these, these protest movements, some of what's been happening, some of these calls. Do you think there's the possibility that it could get to the point where they won't be able to anymore, where they won't be able to look the other way? Or do you expect that we will continue to see the same sort of reaction from authorities within the country? Sadly, because of the crisis of systemic impunity that prevails in Iran, for torture, enforced disappearance, arbitrary executions, and other serious human rights violations, we do not expect the authorities to change their course. They've shown time and again that they will use lethal force and the death penalty and all other unlawful means in order to keep their iron grip on power and to crush the spirit of defiance and resistance within the country. The people of Iran have been saying loud and clear that they want to exercise their right to protest and they want Iran to transition, a demo, uh, to transition to a democratic secular system that would respect their human rights and fundamental freedoms. Unfortunately, the Iranian authorities are not hearing this message, and all they are doing is to intensify the crackdown through subjecting protesters to the death penalty uh, and carrying out mass arrests. As we speak, there are on uh, countless numbers of protesters who are in prison um, after suffering horrific patterns of torture and other ill treatment and facing unfounded prosecutions and lengthy prison sentences. And as I said, there are also over a dozen who uh, are under a death sentence at the moment, and their sentences may also be carried out at any moment. That's why Iranian people do not have the luxury of time. They are being um, uh, killed or otherwise assaulted at a horrific rate, and it's important for the international community to do all it can to send a strong message to the, people, uh, to the Iranian authorities that they will not simply stand by as they kill their people or uh, otherwise uh, commit serious crimes against them.